Hey guys, Adrian here from DigitalDojos.com and today I want to talk about iOS 7 and you iPhone jailbroken users out there. So if you are like myself and you're on iPhone, uh, iPhone 5, iPhone 4s, whatever it may be, you're jailbroken and you're satisfied, you're on iOS 6 point whatever, for example, I'm on iOS 6.1 in this case, uh, and you want the iOS, some of the iOS 7 features, but you don't really want to upgrade for whatever reason. For example, I didn't, I didn't upgrade because of app stability, um, and, and that's really important, and compatibility uh, in my line of business, reviewing apps for some client stuff like that. So I stayed on iOS 6, though you can get a lot of the iOS 7 features if you're jailbroken. So again, jailbreaking nowadays is really easy. I'm on my iPhone 5 here. You can get a lot of the top iOS 7 features and even look and feel. As you can see here, this looks uh, pretty similar to that of iOS 7. Not totally on par, but you can see here just navigating through some of the basic user interface. You can see it has some of the really, uh, you know, the accents, the fonts, all that, yeah, the icons. Really similar to that of iOS 7. Again, not 100%, but pretty close. And you can get all of this via jailbreak, or jailbreak tweaks. So with that, I'm going to jump right into it. So number one, the UI. How do you go about getting the UI of iOS 7? Well, if you're jailbroken, everybody knows about a pretty awesome tweak out there. And if you don't, it's called Winterboard. So this is Winterboard right here. Winterboard is a tweak you want to get. It's free out there in Cydia. This allows you to add themes, customize your iPhone experience. In this case, the theme we're going to be using today is called iOS 7. I'm going to give the link uh, in the description below uh, and in the corresponding blog post so you can get the correct theme if you're looking for it here. This theme has tons of options, tons of settings you can go through. And basically, once you install the theme, you go into um, Winterboard, you're going to see all of these iOS 7 things, and you're just going to want to check the things you want to use. So for example, uh, iOS 7 lock screen, phone UI, Siri, status bar, and you can really customize it to how you want it. You can even do it for third-party tweaks like uh, Velox, and, or say um, there's also like uh, ones for um, uh, OXO and Aira, tweaks like that. So you can really customize it. That's how you get the look and feel using the iOS 7 theme. And you can see here it's pretty spot on there. Now, for additional feature, the parallax effect, that's that effect that allows you to have that cool kind of 3D augmented reality background. There's a tweak I purchased called 3D Board. I believe I got it for like 99 cents. It's a really awesome tweak that you just enable 3D Board here. And it's a cool thing just to show off here. You can add the depth. You can lower it if you want uh, kind of zoomed out or higher if you want it more zoomed in in terms of depth. And you can see here, this allows you, when I turn my phone, it uses that uh, accelerometer and gyroscope to kind of, when I move my phone left or right, it reacts to it and it makes that kind of 3D parallax effect. So again, this is 3D board. It is available in the Cydia uh, store, again, for about 99 cents or so. I'll leave a link to that as well. So that's the UI. Number two, Control Center. That's another feature that iOS 7 is, uh, you know, it introduces that allows you to have quick toggle settings if you swipe from the bottom. I like a tweak called NC Settings. This is a free tweak that stands for Notification Center Settings. So when I slide down for Basic Notification Center, it packs everything in one screen. Again, this isn't sliding from the bottom. This is all in one Notification Center. So you have your notifications down below, but right here you have this menu that you can toggle by sliding left and right. These are row of icons, and you can get themes for these. You can customize it to how you want to look. Um, that give you these icons that you can quickly toggle. So I can click on this, and I can adjust my brightness on the fly. I can adjust sound on the fly. I can adjust... Um, anything related to you know Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, LTE, I can turn all of those off or on easily from Notification Center. So if you want to get that Control Center feel from anywhere on your iOS device, NC Settings is definitely your tweak. Number three, the camera. Now the camera didn't physically change in iOS 7, though it does correspond to that of newer devices. But the camera software has done a lot, a lot of upgrades, and you can get a lot of these traditional features from native applications out there. So for example, Camera Plus is one of the apps I like a lot. It is a paid app, and you can get this in the App Store, no jailbreak required. As you can see here, you have um, ability to do a lot of cool stuff with this. You can zoom in and out, digital zoom, as you can see here. Um, stabilizer, timer, all this cool stuff. Really great for uh, if you just want advanced camera and you don't really want to upgrade to iOS 7. Another thing though, there is a tweak out there called Camera Tweak. I'm going to leave a link to this. I personally do not have this, but I have seen this out there. It's 99 cents. Uh, I don't really want all the features uh, of the camera. I'm fine with uh, Camera Plus. But if you do, Camera Tweak, what it adds in, it adds in some cool features like frame rate adjustment for video, exposure and focus control, timer, um, time lapse effect so it adds even all that much more onto what iOS 7 provides in the camera and what this camera tweak does it puts it in your default camera app so it'll actually integrate it within your default camera app so you don't have to download a new app it gives you all these cool features and all of that in your default camera app so that's some of the camera tweaks that you can get via uh, jailbreaking and or not jailbreaking you can just find some awesome camera apps out there
Number four, multitasking. Now this isn't an, uh, another one I tweak I do not use personally, um, but basic iOS 7 multitasking, the way it works is basically when you double tap, you have your apps right here. All of these apps are in a suspended state, so it's not true multitasking. iOS 7 is re-engineering all of that basically. What it allows you to do is if you have certain apps that you use more, it prioritizes more uh, to that. So if you have Facebook updates coming in, it acts as if the app that is in the background, so let's say I'm using the camera app, uh, my settings app, or maybe you have a game running in the background, it doesn't just suspend the app, it doesn't pause it, it acts as if it's running in the foreground. Now there is a tweak out there by the name of, uh, let me make sure I get this right here, Background Manager. Background Manager, this allows you to have true multitasking on your iDevice. It is 99 cents in the Cydia uh, store, so you can get it for in the Big Boss repo. This allows you, again, to have true multitasking uh, you can run any app on the background as if it was running on the foreground. This allows for quicker switching, quicker toggling between applications, games, whatever they may be. Uh, again, if you want true multitasking, that is the route to go, in my opinion. And you can even get that iOS 7 look with an app, uh, with a tweak like Dash. This allows you to have that kind of uh, multitasking replacement. It has that Dash interface uh, that um, people like in iOS 7, so you can get that as well. All right, and last but not least, the Siri features. So Siri is actually um, getting some tweaks in iOS 7. It's getting a little bit more recognition. So when you hold your home button here, you have the traditional Siri, as you can see here, and you have your list of commands that you can access. It has a pretty decent amount of commands here, but with Assistant Enhancer, this is also a tweak via the jailbreak uh, Cydia. So I believe this is actually a free tweak. Again, Assistant Enhancer. Um, I'll make sure I leave a link to it. Uh, what this allows you to do is have so much more commands. And just to show you here, they actually have a Google Doc of queries, as you can see here, that show you some of the stuff you can do. So for example, you can say play artist so-and-so, not just via your iPod, but via Spotify or RDO, so via third-party apps. You can tell it to turn Wi-Fi, you can tell it to adjust brightness, you can tell it to respring. You can do a whole bunch of extra stuff with this Siri tweak. Again, this is an assistant enhancer for uh, from Cydia. This allows you to add a whole bunch more to your traditional Siri and make it that much more useful and maybe you would actually want to use it. For those of you who don't use it, that's definitely a tweak that may get you to use it more because it can do more stuff with your phone and third-party apps, which is something that is really lacking in right now. So these are just five ways, if you're a jailbroken user on iOS 6, to get a lot of the top iOS 7 features out there. Really easy. Again, some of them cost money, but they're a fraction of cost, a dollar, two dollars at most. Definitely worth it if you don't want to upgrade, if you like where you're at, if you have everything set how you want it, you don't want to lose your jailbreak. That's another big important thing all of that jazz again these are the top features I'm gonna leave all the links corresponding also along with the blog post down below all right guys thanks for watching I'm gonna use the camera app here as a little webcam you guys can follow all the content of course at digitaldojos.com if you have any questions email me at digitaldojos at gmail.com and if you're on Twitter I'm trying to promote this more twitter.com slash kid guru give me a follow I'm gonna give you guys an opportunity I'm gonna leave a link down below to tweet this video link out the three first people to go ahead and do that, and I'll be able to follow it. The first three are going to get a shout out in my next video when I do the same segment at the end here. So the first three of you guys to tweet that link down below, I will uh, rally your guys' Twitter's names up, and I will give you guys a shout out in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I will catch you all in the next video.